Hello, 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 ha ha ha. Hello, my name is Young Barnabas Akolache. And today I would like to draw on the topic what is a triathlon? Triathlon. So, our previous lesson, we, we looked at the topic, we looked at the topic diphthong. That means two vowels that come together to make a single sound vowel. And it should be. So I said two vowels into one vowel sound. So here we are looking at this triftone. So what is a triftone? Before we talk about a triftone, I would like to make a simplification here. That a triftone, we are talking about three. So trial, like tricycle. So we are talking about three vowels. These are no more two like we did in our previous lesson. Three vowels. Each has its unique sound. Three vowels that come together to make one vowel sound. So this lesson is very, very tantamount to what we call the diphthong. So if you understand the concept of diphthong, you should be able to automatically or subconsciously understand the topic for uh, what we call the draft term. Let's take a break as I, I give you just a word for laugh. <laughs> a person who exhibits bewilderment of people a marathon calculating success never ameliorate in nemica protuberance. Okay, let's continue our lesson. So we are looking at what is a draft term. There are three vowel sound. There are three vowel sound that make only one sound. The sound of an A, E, I, O, or U. All the short vowels are A, E, E, A, E, E, O, A. So now we've understood the concept of trafton, which is very similar to the concept of gifton. We are talking about three vowels coming together and they make a single sound. So now let's go. A triftone is only one syllable. Say we said our diphthong. We said diphthong is a one syllable, even though two sound letters that come together to make a one vowel sound. So it is considered as a one syllable. Very important. And what is a syllable? A syllable is an active vowel in a word. And we say that a triathlon is only one syllable because it makes only one vowel sound. That is the reason. Why is it a syllable? And why should it be considered as a syllable? Whereas it has three sounds. The reason is that a syllable is an active vowel. So diphthongs, even though there are three sounds, they come together, they make only one vowel sound. Therefore, they should be considered as one syllable just as or they should be considered as a syllable same like diphthong now we are looking at examples of one syllable word so if you look at these words what is a one syllable word a one syllable word is any word that contains one active vowel or sometimes in english we use the word mono syllabic word or um, it's a mono that means one syllable okay? we'll look at that in our next our different lesson in the future so if you look at these even though these are some of the letters are many but they are all one syllable word for example the first one is spain Sp a in spain the only active vowel we have here is a the sound a and therefore let's try to write down so our A, A, so this is the only active vowel, therefore it is a monosyllabic word or one syllable, mono means one, one syllable, it's a one syllable word, Spain, and remember this is a diphthong, two vowel making one vowel sound, let's go to the next one, the next one is France. France, France. If you look at the word France, our active vowel is ah, ah, and this is just 
a long vowel. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. France. Let's go to the next one. Greece, 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 Greece. Our active vowel is an E sound. And this is a long vowel, E. Okay? So this is a long vowel, E. And the short vowel is E. The long vowel is E. And this one, the short vowel is A. And the long vowel is A. Okay. Let's move on. Now we are looking at the examples of Trafton. Now we are on business. Trafton. So examples of Trafton. Trafton. We have the first one, which is the name of a person, beauty. If you look at the word beauty, you will see that we have E A U. Let me write it down. This is very important. E A U. How many vowels shall we count together? One, two, three. So that is why it is called Trafton. Three vowels. But here, let's see what sound they are making. They are making the U sound. So these three vowels make the U sound. U. U. The letter U. A, B, C, D. U. The letter U. So it make the U sound. Beauty. Beauty. E, A, U. Trafton. Three letters coming together to make one vowel sound. And the sound is U, U. Let me underline the sound in the spelling of the sound. U, U. Let's go to the next one. Beautiful. We have E, A, U. Same. E, A, U. Three letter sound coming together to make one vowel sound. And the sound is U, B, U, 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 U. The next Example, the next example is cautious. Caught, you see, this is a stress. The stress on the first level. The first level is call, and the second level is shots. Cautious. Cautious. And here our draft term is IOU. If you look at the IOU, what sound does it make? It make the uh sound uh uh so I O U make this sound uh uh call shots call shots call shots call shots call shots let's go to the next examples we have the word C H A T E A U this is a spelling let's go to the sound and it is pronounced as Chateau, chateau, chateau. If you look at chateau, we have E A U again. E A U. Our first E A U, we saw that it makes the R sound. But this time, there is a change, there is a transformation. Let's see. Chateau. Our E A U changes into O sound. The long letter O. The long vowel O. O as in ocean. So we have the O or as in the word do, to. The sound is O sound, O sound. So this is also a trap term because we have three sounds making the O sound. Remember, E A U is diff is, is trap term and the R and the O is a diff term. So here in the spelling we have Draft tone. In the spelling of the sound, we have diphthong. So it means that the, the letter sound reduced by one. So we have only two sounds and making the O sound, which is a diphthong. Let's move on. Infect, infect shots. Infect shots. We have I O U S. I O U, sorry, the I O U. I O U. That is our draft tone. Our draft tone. And the whole of this also made the ah sound, the ah, sound that we call the shua sound. Let me write it here, shua. The most popular vowel sound in English, shua. The most popular or most frequent vowel sound in English, shua, shua, shua. Infectious, infectious. 
let's go to the probably let's go to the next one precious 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 we have i o u let's underline i o u and it made the sound oh which is a schwa again same sound schwa schwa so this schwa is very frequent in english let's go to the last our last page we have a word like malicious 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 so our stress is on the l ma it goes up malicious 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 and you see that we have i o u our i o u make the sound of oh, again the shua the shua sound of oh, of oh, of oh, like in a ways like in these words about a go of oh, of oh. so malicious i remember you see the stress is on the second syllable why our stress is on the second syllable this is the second syllable. So this is a three syllable word. Ma, one syllable. Li, two syllables. And shas, three syllables. Why? Because there's a vowel. There's a vowel. There's a vowel. So we count syllables by the number of active vowels. But here our stress is on the second syllable because in English there is a rule with pronunciation. The rule is that whenever we introduce a schwa in syllable it means that that syllable should be unstressed which not stress the syllable so i cannot put the stress here no it's not allowed so you cannot say malicious no the l goes out malicious 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 so the l is stressed that's the second syllable this is very important notice and we have the next word is sa don't put it together we are pronouncing according to syllable the first syllable is sa, and the second syllable is pi, and the last syllable is shas. Three syllable word, sa, spi, shas. Sa, spi, shas. Again, the stress is on the second syllable because of the schwa. The schwa in English should never be stressed. That is the rule. Sa, spi, shas. Sa, spi, goes out. Sa, spi, shas. Sa, spi, shas. So we see our I O U making the same sound as the schwa, oh, oh, the schwa sound, oh, oh. So we look at when we, we, we look at the lesson on trafton, we can see the schwa sound appear frequent. That's why I told you that it's the most frequent sound used in English. We'll end our lesson and see you. Bye.